Hi everyone, today I will be showing you how to crochet this little bear, so an emigrumi bear. Let's get right into it. So to start off, here are the materials that you will need to crochet the bear. So first of all, you'll need a five millimeter hook or whatever crochet hook you see is appropriate for your type of yarn that you'll be using. Then you'll also need a yarn needle and some scissors. You'll need some safety eyes or you can embroider the eyes if you like. I'm using 12 millimeter safety eyes. Then you'll also need some yarn of whatever color you want to crochet the bear in. And you'll need a little bit of darker yarn to embroider the snout. Finally, you'll need stuffing, which is the best part. Okay, so before we get started for this video, I'd just like you to keep in mind that for this tutorial, it would be preferred if you knew how to single crochet, increase and decrease already. But if you don't know how to do these yet, one, I would recommend looking up a tutorial on them, but I will also be quickly explaining them at the start of this video if you have like an idea of how to do them. Okay, let's get started. So, First of all, I'm going to be using the chain to magic ring method to do my magic ring. So I find this a lot easier to do with chunky yarn and also for beginners, it's just an easier method overall. So to do the chain two method, you're going to want to do a slip knot, which is how you'll start most of your normal projects that aren't emigrumi. And then after you've done your slip knot, you're going to want to chain two. So how you chain is you yarn over and then pull through your slip knot. And then you're going to yarn over again and pull through that. So here you can see you have two chains. So instead of doing our first four single crochets into a magic ring, we're going to do them into the first chain that you made. So if you put your hook into the first chain, we're going to do one single crochet. So how you do a single crochet is you put your hook through the loop, you yarn over, then pull through the loop, and now you're gonna have two loops on your, ho on your hook. Now you're gonna yarn over and pull through both of these loops, and that will be your first single crochet. So second single crochet, go through the first chain, yarn over, pull through the loop, then yarn over again and pull through those two loops. So that's two single crochets in our magic ring. We're going to want to do another two so that we have four. So once we've done those, we're going to want to tighten our magic ring a bit. So here you can see we have one, two, three, four single crochets. Not sure if my hook was in a way a bit there. So now we're going to do four increases. So an increase is basically where you just do two single crochets into one of these single crochets here. So what it's doing is it's creating two single crochets out of one. So it will increase your stitch count. So here we're going to go into the first single crochet that we did. And then we're going to do one single crochet. And then we're going to go back into that same single crochet and do another one. So that's your first increase and we're going to do four of these so that our stitch count will end up being eight. So this is our first eight single crochets. So it's the end of our second round. So I'm going to be using a piece of scrap yarn for my stitch marker. You can use whatever you like, but I prefer using yarn. So I'm just going to pull that through our last loop. 
So for the next round, we're just going to single crochet round. So that will just be eight single crochets round what we've already done. So I'm just going to pull the stitch marker out. So this is our first leg. So it's very little as you can see. So once we have finished our first leg, we are going to cut off the yarn with our scissors. And then we're going to finish off and how you do this is you just pull up with your hook. So now I'm just going to make another one of these exactly. So once we have come to the end of leg number two, we are not going to cut off the yarn and finish off like we did with leg one. Instead, what we are going to do is connect the legs. So to do this, we are simply going to chain one from this second leg. So here you can see I've chained one. And then we're going to grab the first leg. This tail is a little bit long so I'm just going to cut it off. And then we're going to single crochet into the first stitch of the last round of leg one. So I'm going to put a stitch marker right before where I chained one just to make it easier when I come back around. So we're going to grab leg one and this stitch here, you can see it goes up here. We're going to single crochet into that stitch. So we're going to put our hook in and we're going to single crochet. Now we are going to single crochet all around leg one. So as you can see, I just got back around to the chain. So now what we're going to do is, if you look at the chain right here, we're going to single crochet into that chain. So I'm going to single crochet from underneath the chain. It's a little bit like finicky, but you can see a little gap underneath on the side. And you're going to put your hook into the gap. And then you're going to do a single crochet Then you can see where my stitch marker was for the other round. We're not going to go into that stitch, but we are going to go into this stitch over here so we can single crochet round leg two.
So as you can see, I've just finished that round and we've gotten all the way back to the stitch marker. If you end up having any holes in here, then you can always sew them up with the tail of one of your legs or you can sew them up at the end if you like. It's up to you. So now for the next four rounds, we're going to do the same thing that we just did, but we are, uh, we are single crocheting around the outside for four rounds. So once you are at the end of your four rounds of single crochet, we are going to have one last round for the body. So for this round, we are going to do single crochet decrease times six. So basically what that will involve is first we'll do a single crochet into the first stitch and then a decrease into the next two stitches and then a single crochet and then a decrease and we'll do that all the way around until we've done it six times by the end of this round we should have 12 stitches in total so i'm going to show you how to do a decrease but first i will move the stitch marker the fake stitch marker which is actually just scrap yarn so we're going to start off this round with a single crochet like we've been doing for the last four rounds then for the decrease, we are going to go into the stitch like we normally would for a single crochet. We are going to yarn over and pull through the stitch. So almost as if we're doing a single crochet, but then instead of yarning over and pulling through, we're going to go into the next stitch along. So we've got two loops on our hook, going to go into the next stitch along, yarn over and pull through that stitch. 
So it's like we're combining two single crochets into one. So you should have three loops on your hook at this point. And I'm going to go over, over this again, the next decrease. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So you're basically turning two single crochets, two stitches into one stitch. Then we're going to do a, another single crochet and we're going to do our second decrease. So we go into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch like we're starting off a single crochet and then instead of finishing the single crochet we're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then we're just going to do single crochet decrease four more times round until we reach our stitch marker. So that's the final decrease. So that's also the end of the body. So we're not going to need to leave a long tail for sewing because we're going to leave that for the head when we want to sew it onto the head. So instead we're going to just cut this off. Unless obviously you want to sew up the holes down here then you can leave a longer tail to do that. But we can just cut off the yarn and then we're going to pull the hook to finish off. I'm going to tuck the tail inside and now we're going to stuff the body. You can do this now or later but I am choosing to do it right now. So here we have a lot of stuffing. Just grab some of it and we are going to start off by stuffing the little feet at the bottom to make sure they are fully stuffed. Oops, sorry, nearly went off camera. Make sure the other foot is adequately soft. And then we're going to stuff the body. And that's pretty much good enough for the body. So now we are going to move on to the making of the head. So the head is going to be what we will sew onto the body. So we're going to start the same way that we did last time, but instead of doing four single crochets into the first chain to make a magic ring, we're going to do six, that's six. So we're going to do our slip knot Then we're going to chain two again. And now we're going to do six single crochets into that first chain. So here's our first six single crochets. Let me just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to do six increases so that we reach a stitch count of 12. So a reminder for the increases, it's two single crochets into one stitch. So into the first stitch we go, yarn over and then pull through and go back into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through. And we're going to do that five more times around the circle so that we reach 12. So 
So now we have 12 stitches. You can go around and count your stitches if you like to make sure. And we're going to grab our stitch marker. And we're gonna put it through this last little loop. So now for the next round, we are going to do single crochet increase all the way around six times. So just like we did single crochet decrease times six in the last, in the body, we are now going to do it with increases. So single crochet increase times six. So into the first stitch, we'll do a single crochet. And into the next stitch, we'll do two single crochets. So the first single crochet and the second single crochet into the same stitch and that's an increase. And now we're going to repeat that. So single crochet in and crease. We're going to do that four more times. So that's the end of that round. I'm going to move my stitch marker up around. So I'm also about to run out of yarn, so I will switch over in a minute. But for the next round, we're going to do two single crochets and then an increase. So in the first stitch, we'll do a single crochet. In the second stitch, we'll do a single crochet. In the third stitch, we'll do an increase. And we're going to do that six times until we've made it all the way back to our stitch marker. So one single crochet, two single crochet. I'm just gonna switch over to my next round of yarn. So I'm just going to pull through with this yarn just so I can switch over and I'll tie a double knot in the second part of the increase right now. So I'll just go back into that same stitch and do the final part of the increase. Now we'll keep going round doing one single crochet, two single crochet and an increase. So now we are going to single crochet for four rounds straight, similar to how we did with the body. At this point, if you count your stitches, go around and count them, you should have 24 in total. If you are like maybe one off, then luckily crocheting is pretty forgiving. So just throw in an extra increase in the next round or maybe a decrease if you're one over the stitch count. Um, I never worry too much about that if I'm one over or one under. Some people are really particular about it though, but it doesn't seem to make too much of a difference overall. So we're just going to start single crocheting round and we're going to do that for four rounds in total. So I've just done one of the rounds. I'm now going to skip forward until I've done 
three more rounds, so four in total. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end of the fourth round of single crochets. And that's my last stitch, so I'm going to move the stitch marker up here. So now for round 10, we are going to do two single crochet and then a decrease. So this first stitch will be a single crochet, the next stitch will also be a single crochet, and then we'll use these two stitches to do a decrease. And we're going to do that six times so we can go all the way around. So one single crochet, two single crochet, and then our decrease, which if you remember from the body is pull through a loop, go into the next stitch and pull through a loop also. So you have three loops on your hook and then pull a loop through all of those. So it's combining two stitches into one. So now we are going to do that six, five more times, sorry. So this is the last decrease of the round and by the end of this round we should have 18 stitches in total. So I'm going to move my stitch marker up and now we're going to do the final round of the head. So this is going to be the exact same actually as the final round of the body. We're going to do single crochet decrease times six. So single crochet decrease all the way round. So in the first stitch we'll do a single crochet then in the next two stitches, we'll do a decrease. And then we'll do that five more times until we have 12 stitches and our, we are back at the stitch marker. So here I am just doing my last decrease And there it is. We are finished with the head. But first we have to put the safety eyes in, which I have over here hiding. So the backings. And here are the actual safety eyes. So we have 12 rounds in total and the safety eyes are going to go in between rounds seven and eight. So if we count from the top, it's round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it'll be in between round seven and eight. If we just pop these in. And they're going to be around six stitches apart. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So they should be approximately there. So we'll just put the backings on. It's my favorite part of our safety eyes. They're so easy to use. So I just get the backing and put it on the inside and press it down. Then we'll do that with the other eye. Sorry, you can't really see what I'm doing. So then the safety eyes are on. So we are actually going to leave a tail for sewing. So we're just gonna leave a bit of length on this so that when we sew it onto the body, We'll have enough yarn to do so. I always do extra, which most of the time it's way too much, but I'm paranoid that if I don't, then I won't have enough yarn to sew it on. Pretty sure the amount that I just did was way too much, but it's fine. So just pull that through, finish off. We're also gonna stuff the head now. So grab your stuffing. Basically just shove it inside the head. Okay, so that's the head and the body. Now we have to make the arms and the ears. So put these two aside. So for the arms and the ears, you're going to need two of each because you know, 
bears generally have two arms and two ears, hopefully. Um, and I'm just going to show the making of the first of each one. So I'll show you how to make the first arm and then you just repeat that exactly for the second arm. So let's get straight into that. So we'll grab our yarn again. Mine is all tangled for the 50th time this video. Please comment below if your yarn constantly gets tangled because that is a major struggle of mine. So we're going to start off like we did with all of the other body parts so far. We're going to do a slip knot. And then we are going to chain two. So we are going to do four single crochets into the magic ring, also known as the first chain. So the same as how we started for the legs, basically. So go into the first chain, then do one single crochet, two single crochets, three, and four. Also, I'm really sorry if I occasionally go off camera. I can't actually see what I'm filming until afterwards when I pop my head up and have a look. Um, but I have like no nothing up here that can show me what it looks like. But I know this is generally like the area in the middle, so I try to stay here. So then we're going to do four increases. So one, two, three, four. We're going to go into the first stitch, do an increase. So it's basically exactly how we started off our legs. We're going to do our second increase. Third. And finally our, oh, hello. Our fourth increase. I have lost my stitch marker. Oh, found it. Now we're going to do three rounds straight of single crocheting. So we should have eight, eight stitches in total. I'm just gonna go around a single crochet into those eight stitches for three rounds straight. Okay, so for the final round, we're going to do four decreases in a row. So we're just going to go into these eight stitches. We'll do a decrease here, decrease there, there and there, till we've done four. Then we should have four stitches. So here's my first decrease. Here's my second decrease. Third. So once we have done that, that is the end of the first arm. And I'm going to leave a little tail for sewing because we're going to have to sew this onto the body. I don't mind sewing, but a lot of people really don't like it for some reason. I find it pretty fun actually. It's kind of like, you know, putting it all together. We'll add a little bit of stuffing to this arm. And now you just have to make a, another one of that. Okay, now we have finished both of the arms. We're going to put those aside and we are going to work on crocheting the final body part, which is the ears. So we're going to grab our yarn. We're going to do a slip knot. Chain two. 
and we're going to do four single crochets into that first chain there. Then for the next round, we're going to do four increases. So we have a stitch count of eight, one, two, three, four. So for the final round of the ears, we're just going to single crochet round. So we're going to do eight single crochets in total. Okay, so once you have done that, we're going to leave a tail for sewing. And then you are going to make your second ear. So you'll just do that exactly the same again. So here I have the two ears, which means now we can get started on sewing. So first of all, we are going to grab the head and the body. So we're going to be sewing them onto each other so that it sits like this. And we're going to grab our yarn needle for the head and we're going to put the yarn through the yarn needle. And then we are going to turn this around. So we want to line it up. The heads, the eyes are about there. If we turn it around then the head finishes about where the body finishes. So I'm going to sew my first stitch into here. And then we are going to go through the stitch above it in the head and we're going to go like across two stitches. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. So we really want to focus on making sure the head is secure. Then we're going to go down into the body and go across the next two stitches to so go through them. And then back up into the head and go across two stitches. And we're sort of just going to keep going round and doing that. So I need to keep checking that the head is actually lining up. I'm just going back and making sure these stitches are secure. So you can see that it's lining up with the front of the body. I'm probably gonna need some more stuffing in the head, so I'll just grab some and sort of shove it in that gap. And we'll finish off the sewing. Go through the next two stitches in the body. Next two stitches in the head. So once we've done that, we're just going to bury the yarn deep in the body basically. And we're going to cut it off here. So that is the head on the body. So you can use this base for basically whatever animal you'd like if you want to make a cat or a dog or something. It's a pretty basic base for any body. Now we've got to put the arms and the ears on. So we're going to grab the arms because we'll start off with those rather than the ears. And we're going to put the yarn needle, no, put the yarn through the yarn needle. 
so for arms I sort of just like start off by like sewing it shut a little bit you don't have to do that though um, and then we're going to put it through the side of the body so something like this and then we'll go up through the arm sewing is not going to be perfect just try and make it as secure as you possibly can And once you've done that, I'm just gonna like bring the yarn through the back of the body, like around here. And I'm just gonna let that sit there. I'll cut it off a bit, but because later we're going to double knot it with the other part of the arm, with the other arm. We'll move on to sewing on the next arm. So we're basically just gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. You might struggle a lot with sewing at first. Um, I found I struggled more with it when I was using thin yarn. I like purely use chunky yarn now. Um, also because I don't have to squint as much to see the, see the stitches. So same deal with this yarn. Sorry, same deal with this arm I meant to say. So then we're going to bring the yarn through to the exact same point that this yarn tail is at. So see that, how they're both here. I'll just cut this off a little bit. Then we're going to double knot these together. I just realized these are not at the same yarn points, are they? They might be, I think they are. So double knot. And then there's probably a better way to do this. But I just shove it inside basically. Um, you can also like just hide the tail within the body if you want to, but I'm always paranoid that it'll sort of like the arms will just fall off, even though they probably won't, but you know. So now we get to sew the final body part on, which is the ears. So for the ears, the placement for the ears, we're kind of thinking around like here. I'm gonna try and hold that here while I put the yarn through the yarn needle, which never seems to work. I am going to get the yarn and sew it into the head so that there's like this gap here where the ear will be. I'm just gonna pull the yarn through and then we are going to grab the other end of the ear and we're going to sew through that end. That way you should have one end of the ear down the bottom, one ear up the top. So right now, obviously it's not gonna be very secure. So we have to go back in and we're going to come over this side. So the back of here, and we're just gonna go straight through straight out the other side and then you're on this side and you're gonna sew down into the head sorry I don't really know a good way of describing this but you're basically doing a similar thing to the to the arms but on the head and then you're gonna go back into the end of the ear So we're going to do the same thing before and hide the tail back here, but we'll leave it so we can double knot it later. So now you have the first ear on 
And now the hardest part about sewing the second ear is getting the placement right because you're trying to line it up so that it's even with the first ear, which can actually be really difficult. So take note of where your ear ends and where it starts, you know, what row. So I might sew a little bit of this off camera since I really want to get the placement correct, but I'll try and do most of it on camera. So now I've basically finished sewing on the second ear, so I'm going to bring this back to this stitch. So you can see they're relatively even. And then we're going to tie this off in a double knot. And then we're going to cut it and poke it inside. So finally to finish off, we are just going to grab our dark brown yarn so that we can embroider the nose. So I'm just going to put it in right above here and we're going to bring it into this stitch which is sort of like between the eyes and we want this stitch to be in the middle, this like hole of the stitch. And then we're going to bring it over so it's approximately two stitches away from the other eye. So you can see that's sort of in the middle. And then we're going to bring the yarn needle down to the middle of where that line is. And then bring it up and put it through the hole in the middle. So underneath this line, right in the middle. And we're gonna bring it back through to this, where we started off with the yarn. So then as you can see, you sort of have this little line here so it looks like a little bear snout. Then we're just going to tie these up, double knot like always. I'm going to cut it off. We're going to poke it inside. And now you are all done. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you want more crochet animal tutorials then please subscribe to my channel and comment below what animals you would like to see me explain how to make and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!